Now the Arvindel is in the legendary loot pool, so when playing activities it can drop. Legendary Engrams will have them as well as Banshee can even sell it. However, if you want to farm for a Garble, the best way is going to be to farm them in the Helm at the Star Chart. Here you can use your Umbrals and focus the Amalon Weapon Engram and get this Fusion Rifle to drop. There are five other weapons that do drop from this Engram, but the amount that I've gotten from this is actually insane. And by doing this, I've managed to get a decent amount of these so far. Now I do want to talk about the Garble really quickly. Alright, what's going on, everybody? So, the Arvindel has been getting a ton of attention this season, and it honestly is for good reasons. It's probably one of the best fusion rifles in the game. There's a lot of really good ones, and there's obviously Riptide, which is another really good stasis fusion rifle, but the perk combinations that you can have on this fusion rifle is disgusting. So, really quickly, for the rolls, right? So, we have Arrowhead Break, which will give you the extra recoil direction as well as extra handling. If you want to go for range, Hammer Forge is a good option. We also have Fluted Barrel, Small Bore. There's a lot of really good barrel options, honestly. You go for either of them whatever you prefer on this weapon so for batteries we have a couple decent options so if you want the faster charge time because this does have kind of a pretty slow charge time then accelerated coils is going to be good however if you want to get the most out of reconstruction you want to go for ionized battery and pair that with backup mag what this will do right if we take these off our magazine is only five so with reconstruction the most ammo that we can have overfilled is going to be 10 however if we put on ionized battery as well as backup mag then as you can see our magazine goes up by eight because backup mag will give us plus one and ionized battery will give us plus two magazine size and you're like but i lose 20 reload speed well what reconstruction does is every four seconds it will reload your weapon and let's say you know you want to use it and then you pull out your smg or your heavy while you're using that weapon this weapon will already be reloaded and it will overfill your magazine by double so we can have eight in our magazine which means we are able to have 16 shots of this ready to go which is absolutely disgusting and you pair this with chill clip what chill clip does is the top half of your magazine will create this stasis detonation when you get a direct hit and it will slow the enemies so pairing reconstruction with chill clip basically makes it so you have chill clip active like for the whole time you're using this because you know the top half of your magazine you have reconstruction you have 16 bullets ready to go so yeah those two paired together makes it so you're just slowing a lot of enemies with stasis doing a bunch of damage and what also makes this gun so good is you also have its origin trait which makes it so the top half of your magazine not only do you get increased reload speed which we really won't need because we have reconstruction but you also have increased stability so not only do you have 16 shots in your magazine and we'll have chill clip and we will also have an extra 20 stability so with all three of these paired together it makes this fusion you know honestly insane i've been using this fusion for a little bit i haven't gotten a reconstruction chill cut roll yet unfortunately i want one so bad but yeah that's going to be it for the video let me know what you think of this weapon it is definitely worth getting especially with the announces of lightfall where we're going to have a lot of options with stasis being able to stun champions yeah that's going to be it for the video i'll see you all in the next one all right peace